Hey, how's it going YouTube and welcome back. I'm Peter and I'm going to be doing a video today um, following up that last video I just did on uh, disassembling the side mirror for a W140 specifically off my 1995 Mercedes S500 which I have two of so I'm very fortunate that I was able to um, take apart one figure it out and then kind of give you guys a, a video on how to do that so apologize about the uh, filming yesterday I didn't have anybody to help me so I set my phone up and uh, it wasn't the best angles wasn't the best camera work um, not that that's what I'm doing this for but I want to give you guys good videos that show you how to do this um, so today what we're going to be doing is getting that back in the car and we're going to start with um, fixing so this is the one out of the gold car which is working great but um, as you can see if I zoom in here you some of these wires are starting to get brittle and the good thing is this is just from exposure to, to sun and you can see by the color difference in the wires here this was obviously folded in um, when it was sitting and so um, what we're going to use just so you guys know is um, I picked up a couple of things um, some self bonding super tape all of this stuff came from Harbor Freight and um, that was about $2.99 or $3.99 and then um, uh, heat shrink tubing and that was 89 cents today at uh, Harbor Freight and I just picked up kind of like a package with different sizes but we're probably going to only be using the smallest white one and um, I've got a hair dryer here and that's going to allow us to seal that heat shrink and what I'm going to do right now, um, I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera, but I'll show you one, is I'm going to, um, I went ahead and cut this tubing uh, down the middle, and I'm going to cover each one of these wires, specifically the ones that are brittle, and then um, if that if that doesn't seem to, to work to get in there right, uh, we might just cover them in the self-bonding tape, but I'm going to try out a couple of things, but my, my goal was to use the... Um, the heat shrink and then the self-bonding tape to wrap around it uh, before we put it back in the car so it has a protective coating over it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to come back and show you guys uh, how we did it, where we're at. Alrighty guys, just so you know, a lot of this is going to be trial and error. So um, the heat shrink, um, and I had a feeling, works really, really well when you have a, uh, a wire you can slide onto. So what we could have done is kind of cut each one of these wires um, soldered them back together after sliding on some heat shrink and then sealed it with heat shrink um, but I didn't want to spend so much time on this so um, I played around um, off camera and you can see on these two here what I did was um, that first one there that real thick one which is this one is I took a piece of this uh, self bonding super tape I'm going to show you guys that again I got this from Harbor Freight and um, I took just a, a cut piece and wrapped it around it and then I hit it with the um, the blow dryer that I've got here and it seemed to work really good but it looked a little thick so the next one what I did was I cut right down the middle as you can see and then made a strip and technically it worked just like um, uh, the heat shrink would have worked and I was able to stretch that kind of pull it over the um, the wire and then I heated it with the blow dryer and kind of wrapped it real tight and so um, it, it just takes a little finagling, but uh, maybe took me probably a total of a minute to do that one. And so I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to see if I can um, show you guys one of them so you can get an idea of exactly how I'm doing it. Alrighty, cool. So I got um, all the wires that were starting to fray individually wrapped. Um, a lot of these wires were really good still, so I didn't um, want to make this super thick because I do... There's a, um, a clip right there that you can slide these wires down into. I wanted to leave enough room for that. And what I did was um, broke to get the wrap around this. Um, I tried several different ways. But the great thing about this stuff is it sticks to itself, but it's not sticky itself. So it's not like uh, electrical tape where you're going to have an issue trying to wrap it because it's sticking to itself. It's sticking to everything. And... Um, it's not really a, a, a nice thick coating, so you have to go pretty crazy with it. With this one, it stretches and then seals to itself, so it's really nice. So uh, what I did is I took individual, these are only three pieces, uh, maybe um, probably three quarters of an inch long, and wrapped it, pulled it, stretched it, and uh, suctioned it to itself, and then I uh, heated it up with that heat gun, kind of pulled it together there, and it seems to be holding really, really well. As I was doing that, and of course you want to look at these wires all over. Um, I noticed as I was pulling the wires that um, 
some of the wires here are actually getting frayed just because of being rubbed. So some of them are good. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the ones that are frayed and then try to wrap all of that. Um, just like I did down here and that should finish off this project and then we can put it back in reinstall it and I'll show you guys that so I was not able to get it with one hand because I had to kind of use a uh, another flathead and kind of push down and push in so I came in from the inside here pushed up against it and also came from the top here and pushed down it, but it really wasn't that hard but I get, I'm giving you guys a really good shot on that's the clip that holds this entire assembly together and now you can see that that piece is in there so now our um our last thing is going to be to put that uh window unit piece back on here so i'm gonna go ahead and get that we're gonna go put it in the car and we're gonna test everything out all right guys so um i'm gonna show you how to reinstall this this is a part of the video that i haven't really gotten to show um you can see here there's two wires that are coming out of the car um there's three screws right here um and we have the mirror folded in so I'm going to go ahead and first attach this longer one here um, and that's just going to kind of slide right in. You're going to have to be real close to get these on. That's the only downside is you've really got to get these in here and wiggle them in. You'll get, eventually you'll just, they'll just pop in You get the right angle. But it's probably the hardest part of the reinstallation installation and sometimes you got to turn it upside down. Now that I got that snapped in. I'm gonna go ahead and line up my screw holes. I already put the screws in here, mainly because um, I had to put that other gasket on there and I wanted to make sure that the uh, gasket was gonna line up. And then you're gonna go ahead and screw in these, screw, these three holes. I'm gonna start with this one down here. Get that one put in. All right, and um, I got a screwdriver to kind of reach these other ones here. And as you can see, the mirror is folded in, and that's the position you need it to be in when you're taking this apart. And you can see how we wrapped uh, our wires here so they're nice. Even if we have this thing folded in, it's sitting in the sun, they're going to be nice and wrapped in there. There is a third screw down here that is a little more difficult to get to and a little more difficult to get in and out. But with the right angle and a long enough screw driver, you can get it. And I know we got it out with this screwdriver, so I know it'll go in. All right, now that we got this thing pretty much back together now, it's kind of the moment of truth. Um, oh, the one thing I wanted to point out is um, we're going to reinstall our mirror here, which I've not done. Um, you can see there's a heater connector right here. And I'm going to put a, a heavy-duty Velcro strip on here and uh, try to get this reattached so that we can take it off in the future very, very easily. Right now I'm gonna go ahead um, and show you guys how the mirror works. Okay, and um, you do not need to turn the car on to test the mirror, but I'm gonna turn the car on just because we had issues with the fuse blowing for the AC and we won't know if that fuse blows unless we have the car running. this properly it'll it's pretty self-explanatory but if you look at the image here the that logo is towards the bottom there so that uh, kind of tells you now the only last step we have is going to be to reattach our mirror which you're first going to plug in your heater like that and then this will uh, with this little little metal prong here will snap on and reconnect there uh, what I'm probably going to do is uh, maybe take this metal piece out. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that in, but I'm going to put a nice heavy-duty Velcro strip on there. So if we need to get back to this, we're not having to pop that off and damage anything. We can pull it off pretty easily, and, and it'll still stay secure while we're driving. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this helps you guys out, and uh, my name's Peter. Have a great day.